All right, our next guest was recently featured in Minneapolis St. Paul magazine for having some of the best donuts in town. It's no joke because I'm looking at them right now and they are insane. And Mojo Monkey is one of the few places in Minnesota where you can find authentic New Orleans style beignets, which Lisa Clark, someone I'm like super happy to meet right now, is, is frying up right now. I just asked you during the break, is the dough with donuts and beignets the same or different? They are different. Yeah, okay. the beignet dough is different. We actually started um, almost two days before. We serve beignets just on the weekends. We, okay. Uh, fry them to order hot, and we start the dough a few days before, and it slow rises in the fridge. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Are these almost done? How do you know when they're done? Yeah, they're almost done. Okay. Do you need to flip them out or what? No. You want to try one? Uh, yeah, since yes. <laughs> but what we're going to do today outside of the beignets, yep. which I'm happy to try, is you got to eat hot from what I understand. Yes, you do. Right? Yeah. We're going to try a lime curd today, mm -hmm. right? So take it away. All right. So to make the curd, you want to mix in your uh, uh, mixer. You want to mix in three large eggs. Okay. And then uh, your sugar. Okay. And then you want to whisk that until it gets all nice and creamy. So eggs and sugar, and you already got that going in Yep, here. and then I've got this all mixed. All right. Is there a consistency that you need before you know it's yes, ready to rock? Yes, it takes a few minutes, and you want it to be... Coating the... Yep, you want it to be nice and whipped and creamy. Okay, yep. And then from there, you're going to add your lime juice. Okay. And is this what makes the curd then? You have the acidity of the This is what makes the, the curd, yep. I see. And then you can cook it in a double boiler, but it also works to just put it in a bowl and cook it over a pot of water. Okay. So you have the water on as it's steaming? Or yep. what, it just... And then you just keep the water filled in the pot. Don't let the water run out. And just keep whisking it frequently. Is there danger of overcooking the, this? No, it's fine. Yeah. You're not going to get scrambled eggs. No. Okay, good. Because well, that's an issue with a lot of French cooking. Yeah, that's true. That's from what and then I you're going to cook it to about 183 degrees. Okay. And then once that's finished, you whisk in your butter. Okay. Um, and your heavy cream. How much butter are we talking about? Two thirds cup. Okay. Yeah, yeah and that's then a my quarter style. cup heavy cream. Yeah, good deal. And it's delicious just like that. It's so good. You can use it. We use it in our donuts. You can also use it for parfaits if you like. Okay, so you get this curd, right? It's mm -hmm. this chunky, yep. limey. Is this what it looks like when yep, it's all done? This is the finished curd. And what do you do? You pipe it into the donuts once we you do. make them? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Is this one of them over there? Yes, it is. May I try? Absolutely. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to do beignets first. Okay. Now, I've never been to New Orleans. So if you could, if people want to make beignets at home, mm -hmm. can they do it? Is it simple or is it not simple? You can do it at home. The biggest tip I, I have had people ask me to do that, and they're, the trickiest thing about beignets is you don't want to overmix them. To get the best beignet dough, it's going to be like really tough and kind of actually hard to work with, and you have to really use a lot of muscle to roll out the dough, but that's how you're going to get the best, fluffiest dough. I'm sorry, what did you say? <laughs> you have to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. My beignet is so hot and delicious. I've never had anything like it in my life. I'm a fan of Boston cream donuts. Oh, yes, we have when that. When we're too. talking about curd and we're talking about custard, like what's the difference in how you make this versus, say, a Boston cream, like normal standard yeah. custard? Well, our Boston cream uh, mm. is a ton of egg yolks, a lot of egg yolks that we slow cook with vanilla and cream, and then we uh, bring that all together and add a little salt at the end. Should we mix this stuff up? We got a minute to show people how else you make the curd. So sure. do you want to get going on it? Well, this has that's to cook. That's going. You yeah. got to cook it up. Okay. Yep, and then once that's done, then you'd mix in the butter and the cream, uh, and then it would end up looking like this. It takes a couple hours to cook. Now, from what I understand, Mojo Monkey has been incredibly successful. Yeah. What makes your donut stand out from all the others in town? Because it's kind of a fashionable thing right now, and clearly you guys are doing it very well. Well, we do everything from scratch every day by hand. Mm -hmm. um, so that makes a huge difference. Okay. Uh, so nothing's, you know, day old or brought in processed. Everything's from scratch. Okay. Um, I'll, we use a lot of actually beer in our yeast dough. So Excuse that's me? Kind of yeah. <laughs> what kind of beer do you use? We use a stout. Welcome. Okay. Yeah. You're always welcome on this yeah. show. Thank you. Um, I see a particular donut right here that has what looks to be potato chips on it. That is our PB&J donut. With potato chips yeah, on it? Yeah, we put potato chips on top. Because you know when you're little and you eat the peanut butter sandwiches, you put the potato chips oh, right inside in the, middle, the yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, cool. A little yeah. nostalgia donut. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Lisa, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations thank on all you. your success and thanks for joining us. And showing us how to make the lime curd. Really appreciate it. So Mojo Monkey Donuts located on West 7th Street in St. Paul. You can go get yourself a fresh beignet like I tried today. I might be heading there soon. We got a link on our lime curd recipe. It's on carelevin.com. And with that, we'll be right back.